Hi guys. Okay. Hi my guys. All right. So today I wanted to talk um, more about perception and how it's individual. And um, this is one of the lessons that I would teach in the prisons that was, um, it was always good to see people understand it because you don't realize, you think that it's common sense, you think that everybody understands this, but turns out that a lot of people do not, okay? So it's a very, um, it's a very important lesson because it helps you to understand why we shouldn't be fighting with one another. Although it's difficult, but I'm going to just share it and hopefully um, you guys can understand and resonate with it. All right. First and foremost, we all have our own unique perception, as I explained yesterday in the, vid in the video, right? So that means that you and I can look at the sky and it could be blue. But you will see a different shade of blue and I can see a different shade of blue. We could see the same shade, a tinge off, maybe not. You know, you could be, your eyes can be colorblind and you're, you can see a greenish blue and I can see a royalish blue, more of a violet blue, dark blue, whatever. Point of the matter is that who's to say that what you're seeing is not recurring? You understand what I'm saying? I can't argue with you down like, nah, that's not blue, that's this, that's it. That what if me forcing you to see the sky as the greenish, I mean, as the, the violet blue that I see is kind of also like trying to rob you of your own personal experience in human form. And that's the thing that we often don't get. Like we argue with people down and I'm guilty of this because like, especially, especially in my past, like I've earned the reputation of being relentless in arguments and debates because of how uh how uh truthful my my truth was for me how impactful my truth was that i didn't realize that other people had their own way of seeing things when i was younger this was younger i got pretty much early on that everybody has their own perception you know what i'm saying but younger younger self had been arguing down like, now nah, you're supposed to see it this way you're supposed to experience life this way and this is the right way to do it and we get caught up in that so much so because it benefits us you know what I'm saying? But what we're really doing when we do that is we're robbing other people. Hello. We're robbing other people. Go, ahead, go, go into your bed. Go. Sorry. What's really happening is we're robbing other people of having their own human experience. How could they ever understand that the sky's not yellow if they don't go through that experience on their own? Or how could they ever understand what what is in reality if they don't experience what they are experiencing themselves if if you are constantly like oh well, can you tell me what color the sky is you're not gonna know what color the sky is you're only gonna know what color someone told you the sky is okay you so you will spend your life looking at a green colored sky because that's how your eyeballs perceive them and you will never be in truth that you have seen the sky as green because someone else told you it was blue and made you feel inadequate because it was blue because they saw it as blue. But what that person really is doing is robbing you of your experience for you to learn your lesson and, and whatever it is that, that you are experiencing as a human. And this is very true. And, and we, don't, we, don't, we, we don't register that. We take that opportunity. We rob people every day of having their own personal human experience. And we force ours on them so that way it can equate to what we believe and fit in our box and that's unfair and that is also taking a human experience from another soul okay now i i want to while i'm telling you this i'm getting um messages about something else on the flip side of that i wanted to uh mention how some people ask for help and some people be like i need you i need you to help me with this we have a lot of people that are lost and don't know how to get themselves together whether it be from their own personal decisions drug abuse uh mental uh abuse i mean whatever the fuck that they're going through excuse my language but people have these lower states and they come around us sometimes when we exemplify a higher level of existence and we're already living in a more you know, founded, structured, and st stable experience, human experience. It's because we went through some work, right? 
And what happens is when we go through work, people who have not gone through work come to us and they be like, hmm, how can I get what you get? They don't say it like that, but they ask you for help. How can you help me? How can you? It's the same thing. It's the same principle of looking at the sky. I can't really help you. I can enable you. I can tell God, hold on, God. You don't know what this person needs to go through in the 3D because you're in the astral projection world. I could help this person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can help them. I can give them a place to stay. I can help them get off their, get on their feet. I can take them away from drug abuse. I can do this. I can do that. But can we really? I don't believe we can. I believe that a lot of the times what we do is we step on God's toes and we rob these people of having their human experiences, whether that be rock bottom, whether that be for them to experience that nobody's really going to help them, that no matter how many people do open their doors to them, it ain't going to help them because they need to get to their own place of realization in order for them to get it, in order for them to see it and want it. You understand what I mean? So I got that later on in life because I had spent a huge proportion of my life thinking I could fix every fucking body, okay? Um, wanting to fix everybody, all right? And, and that in turn kept me from fixing myself, basically. So, so this is what I'm saying. Um, these things are not for us to really step in and to do. We have a lesson to learn in every action and in every uh, relationship that we endure in, and so do the other partners. They have their own lessons. The lessons ain't the same. The lessons ain't the same because your souls are on different frequencies on different levels and your souls have different accumulated karma to, to hash out in this experience, in this world. And so we got to start understanding that, okay? That everybody has their own unique expression of their perception and how they perceive this experience in the human body. And we are not to fight people about that we are not supposed to you i'm telling you you need to see it this way we can tell them we can share the information the same way i'm sharing my information with you i'm really just telling y'all how i come to these realizations and y'all if they resonate and they help y'all great you know what i'm saying but i can't really tell you that my exact role in life is going to fit your 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 soul i can't really say that you can only say what parts resonate with you and be like all right cool man i, I could apply that maybe that makes sense to me and maybe you don't Maybe you'll get to the same exact realization through a whole other path. And that's what is your path. Because that is a repercussion of your choices. And that's your free will to make those choices. I can't force that on anyone else. And so, so when I was teaching this in the prisons, I would teach kids like, this was an argumentative thing. I would tell them, listen, I'm going to give you guys all the same colors, all the same markers, and all, and all the same amount of paper. And you guys are going to draw me a rose. Each one of you, draw me a rose, and that's it. And they would draw me a rose, and all the roses would look different. You know what I'm saying? All the prisoners would have their paper, have all their same basic colors, primary colors, and they would have the same amount of time and the same tools, and they would draw me a rose. I mean, each rose will look completely different. Some roses didn't even look like roses, but in their mind and in this person's perception, that was the best ability that they put their energy towards to draw me a rose. You understand? But all these roses look different. Nonetheless, they were all drawings of roses by several different creative perspectives. And that's what I wanted to teach them, that they have their own perception. So the same way some like you arguing with somebody about something, because in prison, that's what it is, a lot of hostility. And there's a lot of need for protecting each person's own perception. And so what they do is they don't realize that they're fighting each other and they're all in the same predicament with the same tools and the same circumstances. And they're arguing with each other about perception, robbing one another of their own unique expression. So the fights are fucking worthless and, and, and very low level um, spiritual knowledge. A lot of the prisoners, though, that I dealt with were young. You know what I'm saying? Um, I dealt with some, some elder ones, too, but they were young still mentally and spiritually. So a lot of them didn't even understand what perception meant. All right. So for those of you who do not understand what perception and perceiving means, it's the way that you see things in your human experience in life and then in turn the way you express them. Everyone is unique. So you, no matter what you see and how you deal with and how you come to these revelations and epiphanies and understandings and, and express it, 
the other people next to you, even if they've gone through those experiences with you alongside you, still cannot see them and perceive them the same exact way that you do. And you need to understand that because when you force the way you see things on others, you are robbing them of their much needed own human experiences to learn their own lessons to get to their own levels. All right. I hope that got that makes some sense to you guys. I hope you got that of you guys. Um, and I hope that some way that busts open somebody's head and helps them not to pick and fight with the people that are around them to allow other people to have their own unique perception and expression of life in turn. That way you can have yours. All right. I love you guys. And I will speak to you manana.